Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's webinar event. Uh, my name is Joshua, and I'm going to be your presenter. Well, I'm going to be the host for today's <laughs> webinar event. Let me rephrase that. Uh, it is promptly 2 p.m. Eastern time today. Uh, we're so delighted to be working with, uh, have our gracious uh, partners working with us today, Vanco Payment Solutions. Um, and we're going to get uh, moving over to those folks there and get uh, started on their portion of the presentation here in just a few minutes. Uh, just bear with us while we go through a few technical things as we do between each one of our webinar events, uh, or before each one of the webinar events. Uh, first of all, we're going to be working together uh, for the next hour or so uh, till 3 p.m. Eastern time today. This is a longer than normal or usual webinar event for Church Windows. Normally our events are 20 minutes, but again, please rest assured that uh, if you have to you know, dive out of the webinar and you're not able to stay for the entire presentation that we are recording this event as we do with all of our webinar events and we will be producing that and putting a link uh, to this event, a recording of it or the video of it on our website here within the next uh, week or 10 days or so. Um, so again, no, no worries, no fear. Uh, we will, you will be able to come back and catch the whole thing if for any reason you have to leave uh, early at any point. Second, um, if you've never attended a webinar event, you've got a, a single monitor set up, please use the little red arrow at the top of your control panel, the sidebar there to minimize the webinar control panel. It gets that out of the way and allows you to get the full visual presentation of the webinar event. Or if you've got a dual monitor set up, just drag that control panel off to your second desktop, uh, again, to get the full visual presentation. Uh, the questions, uh, we do keep everybody muted. If you do have questions, uh, the uh, Stephanie and Denise at Vanco will be monitoring and answering questions. So if you do have questions for them, please type them into the questions portion of the webinar control panel, and they will do their best um, to you know, find time to respond to those, maybe you know, repeat those out loud for everyone's benefit, uh, and see what they can't do to answer that. Now, finally, before we get started on today's event, we're going to be talking. Uh, we're going to be dealing with mostly Vanco and what you know what they can do for your church and your ministry, and so we're not going to be doing very much work in Church Windows today. Nothing really in Church Windows today. But we are going to start out uh, by showing you a real quick walkthrough of the import function into Church Windows donations. You know, once you establish that relationship with Vanco Payment Solutions, you know they send you over the text file or the CSV file. You know, this is how easy it can be to import their, the data that they send you into church windows in a perfect world. You know, and again, that's all possible. That can all be set up. Uh, and so then tomorrow's event uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, we'll be going back to our normal 20-minute webinar event uh, where we will be covering the whole setup of the import uh, feature and function with all the information that's required in church windows donations. Uh, and then, you know, we'll cover that in, in, in complete detail. Um, so we're going to try to move past my portion of it here and get on to uh, Vanco's part of this presentation here shortly. So just, again, an FYI, folks, that, again, assuming everything is set up in church windows correctly, you get the file, you know, from Vanco Payment Solutions. You, you're ready to import that file. You literally go into donations, go right up here to, let me introduce my highlighter friend, right up here to the import donations, right up here. Okay, there is our import donations function. So then when you click on that, not transfer to accounting, Josh. Here we go up to import, and then we'll choose, say, Vanco. Okay, we have a you know half a dozen or so companies that we import from currently, but we're working with Vanco today. That's what we use. We choose that. We're going to talk more about these other tabs across the top here tomorrow. But again, I've got the file from them. I'm going to click on the Select Import File. I browse to the donations, the file that I'm trying to import. I simply click on that, click Open. Notice here it does display two dates that I have for files, you know, import files for from Vanco Payment Solutions. Again, assuming everything's all set up, I simply click Create Donations. It then opens those up and allows me to click on each one of those dates and simply click post batch. 
warning me that it's a non-Sunday date. I click yes on that. Date one goes away. I click post. Same thing. Click yes at the warning. And those batches are posted, folks. It's literally that simple once we get it, everything set up properly. Okay? So again, please, please register for tomorrow's webinar event if you're interested, more interested in the technical aspect of how to set things up in church windows. Um, but today, I'm thrilled that we're absolutely working with the uh, with Vanco Payment Solutions today. Um, I'm so excited myself personally to be learning more about what their company does, you know, what they can do for you and your church. So without, you know, me wasting any more time here, let me go ahead and get uh, Stephanie and Denise unmuted. And I'm going to go ahead and hand over the presenter duties and responsibilities to them and let them take over and introduce their folks. So um, here we go, Denise. I'm going to hand that over to you. You're unmuted, and off you go. Excellent. Thank you so much, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let's see here. Bear with me for one second. There we go. Okay, can everyone see e-giving options? All right, good deal. Thank you so much, and I apologize for the delay. I am Denise Collins, and I am a Partner Development Manager here at Vanco Payment Solutions. It's my responsibility to work with church management software partners like Church Windows um, to develop and grow our partner relationship in working together to integrate solutions to provide you, the client, and the church with um, the easiest, most possible uh seamless experience in getting your Vanco information imported into the Church, Man Church Windows software. Uh, joining me is Stephanie Proust, our head of product at Vanco, and um, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to be here today and present with Church Windows to talk with you about who Vanco is, what we do. Hopefully, a number of you have, have already heard of us, and um, what our relationship is with Church Windows that brings us here today. And Stephanie will be uh, providing you with an overview of the Give Plus suite of products that Vanco Payment Solutions offers to you and to your churches. So who is Vanco? So trusted by over 20,000 churches, uh, we have a very long standing relationship with Church Windows. Um, we are a leader in electronic giving and payment solutions for more than 20 years now. Uh, so what does that mean? We deliver money to churches faster, and we also provide end-to-end -end security of any payment data that's being collected. Um, we're actually six times larger than the next largest faith-based provider, so we've really focused solely on the ability to provide solutions to uh, faith-based organizations and nonprofits. Uh, we're the largest payment processor for churches in the U.S. Uh, I mentioned over 20,000 churches nationwide, and Churches and nonprofits trusted us in 2016 for processing over $13 billion in payments annually. So we're very proud of that. Uh, we integrate with over 60 church management software providers today. And of course, because we are here and we are so thankful for the opportunity, we are a preferred payment processor for church windows. Um, so we want to be able to talk to you about some research that we've done uh, to understand, you know, why should we do the things that we do? Uh, some new Pew, re Pew research shows that, um, here with me for one second here. <laughs> um, many people pay bills electronically. Over 60% of individuals pay bills electronically. And 77% of those that, that we've researched, so this is churchgoers in churches, own and use a smartphone. And more than 70% of folks pay bills on their smartphones. So what we're seeing is that even seniors, you would think that certain age groups would be more specific in uh, preferring electronic means of giving and payment. Uh, seniors are embracing the digital world as well. There are four in 10 seniors that are over 65 years in age that now have or use smartphones. So you see an upward trend up from just 18% in 2013, that number has risen. Um, so again, this is from Pew Research, and we can certainly provide um, additional statistics on that. But what we're seeing is just an overall culture shift to the digital world. Oddly, though, most contributions are still made in churches through traditional methods. So 
we see 80% of donations made through cash or checks, and only 20% are being received through electronic giving means. So despite the trends mentioned in the previous slide, churches are still contributing via traditional methods. Um, and something else is, that's interesting to note is that um, Bankrate found that more than two-thirds of consumers actually carry $50 or less cash on them. So when the average donation may be $100 to $150, if I only have $50 cash, I'm not being I'm not able to make the, the greatest contribution that I can if electronic giving methods are not being provided to me at my church. So Vanco did a study in, in 2015 on churchgoers' attitudes, behaviors, and preferences toward giving. Uh, and we're happy to provide you with additional information on learning more about that. But what we identified through that study is that there was a giving gap. So we understand the way that people like to give. And we now see the traditions, the traditional methods in which churches uh, are still receiving their donations. So this giving gap is where people prefer e-giving, but oddly, 60% um, across all age groups prefer electronic means. 80% of those are the most active members who prefer e-giving. So the ones that are at church attending more than one activity or service per week, up to three per week, are those that are that are actually preferring electronic giving. So one might think or deduce that if I am not attending church services, I want to set it, I want to forget it, and then I know that my, my donation is being made. And if I'm at church, then I have the ability to make that donation while, I am, while I'm present. Uh, we find that those that are active in the church are actually those that prefer the electronic giving methods so that they can focus on the things that they prefer to do as part of their church. Uh, and again, 40% of seniors prefer e-giving. So the, the gap is truly between the preferences of churchgoers and the availability of the electronic means for churchgoers. So e-giving is a proven tool that helps stabilize and grow giving. We continue to do some additional research, and we had the opportunity to, do, to study several large uh, national denominations looking at total giving across the entire denomination versus total giving of those churches within those denominations who were Vanco clients. So what we found that over a national denomination study showed that Vanco's e-giving solutions had an average of 26 to 30% higher total giving than those that did not have an electronic giving uh, method or methods provide them. Uh, in addition to that, our client analysis showed that churches who added more Vanco products, so maybe they used a Give Plus online solution, and they added text or they added Give Plus kiosk, adding additional Vanco products to their existing program increased their total giving 28% on average. So some really interesting and helpful and informative statistics that we've been able to utilize in promoting Vanco payment solutions products. Um, and I would like very much to be able to turn it over to Stephanie Proust, who's our head of product, here at Vanco Payment Solutions. Um, Stephanie wants to be able to walk us through our Give Plus suite of products and talk to us about um, those options that we would like for you to make available to your church. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you so much again for your time today. And please do type in your questions in the question box, um, and we will make sure to answer those. Um, Okay, so today we're going to look at Vanco's full suite of our Give Plus e-giving products. Give Plus is Vanco's product branding that allows Vanco to be behind the scenes and offer your members a more recognizable donor-facing brand. So in today's webinar, we'll talk about our online giving solution, uh, a donor-facing mobile application, our texting solution, a giving kiosk, and a mobile card reader solution. We do also offer a hosted online giving page that we won't be discussing today, um, but we do offer that for our clients as well. So as we go through each of these, you'll notice that all of our products offer consistent experience for your members and offer you a consolidated reporting and easy reconciliation. So what we've learned as we've launched new products is that your members will ad identify and feel more comfortable with different giving solutions based on how they shop and pay bills, et cetera. 
So through var various technologies, you'll be able to reach all of your members and allow them to give the way they want to give. As Denise was saying, the more products you add, the more options or the more opportunities you have to reach your full congregation. Okay, so the first product is Gift Plus Online. And Gift Plus Online is our embedded giving form for online giving and payments. So you may be wondering what an embed means. An embed is just simply a link to Vanco's product that you can place anywhere on your website and as many times as you wish. It allows you flexibility to manage your content on the page around that form, and your members and guests will never leave your site to complete the donation or payment. Uh, card information um, and, and checking account information security is all managed by Vanco, so you don't have to worry about additional security or anything for your website. Within that embed, your members can make multi-fund donations as, as one-time or recurring gifts. So what this means is they can actually go in, set up a recurring uh, gift for general tithing, and then also within that same transaction, make a payment for Vacation Bible School. So both ACH and debit and credit cards are accepted. And to help out the church, we also offer the option for the church to add ACH and card offset fees. And an offset fee is an optional additional percentage added to the donation and payment to help offset the processing cost for that transaction. So your members would actually um, elect to add that additional percentage and the church sets that percentage rate for ACH or card donations. So it's just an optional additional um, feature that we allow for your members to help offset that processing cost. There are, there are customization options for the embed, including the colors of the menu bars and the funds that are present on the embed. So finally, the embed is not a lot, does allow your members to create an account or give as a guest. And if they do create an account, a Give Plus user account uh, allows them to store payment methods for future use. They can see their giving history, and they can also manage their recurring gifts. And then another benefit of having that Give Plus user account is it is also the same login credentials for Give Plus Mobile, which we'll go through in just a moment. Stephanie, one question is, where can you embed Give Plus onto? And how in many places, in a single place? You can put it as many places on your website as you would like. So if you have a page for just general giving, you can put the embed directly on that page and add content, um, logos, anything on that page um, around that embed. And then if you have a page specifically for Vacation Bible School or for an event, you can also add the embed to that page as well. Great question. Thank you. All right, so next is Gift Plus Mobile, and this is our donor-facing mobile application. It's free for your members to download and is automatically enabled for all new Vanco Church clients. Uh, it is currently, uh, we currently have about 9,000 churches that have been enabled for Gift Plus Mobile. So here are a few screenshots from the app. Um, once your member downloads the app, they simply just search for your church name by either typing in the name or tapping Find Churches Near Me. And then once they've selected your church, it becomes their home or default church. They don't have to search for your church each time. And then after that, they can either sign in or give as a guest. And if they do have a Give Plus user account from Give Plus Online, they can use those same login credentials to sign in to Give Plus Mobile. And then next, they would select the fund they'd like to give to, and you, as, as, as the church admin, would be able to determine which funds are showing up on Give Plus Mobile. You can have some funds showing up on the mobile app, and then other funds showing up on Give Plus Online. All right, so they select the fund, and then the frequency, and the amount, and they enter their card or account information, or if they've stored their account information, they just select which one they want to give from and then complete the donation. So like I said, if they sign in, they can store that payment method for easier and quicker donation flow in the future. 
and they can also view their Gift Plus giving history and manage the recurring donations from their mobile app as well. And Gift Plus Mobile is available in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store today. So it's free to download and it's free for the churches to be enabled for that product. I'd like to add, too, that if there are any Vanco clients out there today, just to reiterate that you are already enabled to be able to utilize Give Plus Mobile. So your church, your congregation has the ability to download the app and make a donation today if you are a current Vanco client. Great point. Okay. So just um, just to reiterate on the benefits of ha of offering this mobile application for your church members, it does over boost your overall giving by letting your members and guests give anytime and anywhere from their smartphone. So, you know, they can go in and manage the recurring gifts, or if they are on vacation during the summer and they can't make it to a service, they can use their phone and give um, their general tithing from anywhere at any time. And like I said, there's no startup fee or monthly fee for the product. Um, so all you would pay as a Vanco client would be those transaction fees as you would for any other product. Because everything flows through the Vanco system, there's um, simplified forecasting and reconciliation, and all of your deposits are going to be on the same time frame. So you don't have to worry about, um, you know, getting different deposits for different products. All of them will be consolidated in one deposit for you. Okay, and then benefits for your members. So, again, your members can download this for free, and they can quickly and easily donate using their debit or credit card or checking and savings accounts. They can give one-time donations or set up recurring and they can choose to set up that Gift Plus account or give as a guest. If they do set up the Gift Plus account, then they can choose a preferred login method of touch ID or fingerprint, pen or password to securely log in to the Gift Plus mobile application. Okay. So Gift Plus Text is our text product, and it is an easy to use easy to use product offering for your members because most phones today have texting capabilities. So this product is pretty universal in that it reaches those members that do not have smartphones or may not feel comfortable downloading an app for giving. So Gift Plus Text is a great way to raise money for special financial appeals or other fundraising needs. And it does accept both one-time and recurring card donations. And because texting is so popular today, it does appeal to members of all ages. Give Plus, all the Give Plus products, like I said before, with Give Plus Mobile and Give Plus Online, the reporting and reconciliation is the same through the Vanco reports and deposits. So all of that is simple for your church admin. The church can, for Give Plus Text, the church can designate which specific funds they want the text donations and payments to flow into as well. So if you do have a special fundraising event and you want those those payments or those donations to go um, through that specific fund, you can set that up for Give Plus Text and all of those will automatically flow into that fund. Once your church is set up for Give Plus Text, you would receive a 10-digit telephone number from us, and that would be your telephone number for Give Plus Text. So it would match your area code, um, and that number would be what you would post in your bulletins and provide during your service for your members to text. Um, so from the far left side, getting started, your members would text the amount that they would like to give to that telephone number. And then the very first time they use the product, they will get a registration link. Um, and that's where they would enter their card information. Um, that once they do that once, though, they will not have to go through that registration process again. So, so the very first time they use the product, they will um, securely enter their information in a Vanco hosted link. And then after that, they would simply just enter the amount they want to give. They would get a thank you message with the option to make that donation recurring. 
And if they do text repeat to make it recurring, then the, text, the following text message would walk them through which frequency option they'd like to, to choose. So this product we have found is one of the easiest and quickest ways for your members to give. And like I said, it's been highly used for financial appeals. Um, you know, if, it, if a church family um, has uh, issues with, um, you know, if they have a house that burns down or something like that, you can do a, a special appeal um, and easily set this up to, um, for those fundraising efforts. Okay, Give Plus Kiosk is our unattended self-service kiosk solution. And what makes our kiosk different from others is that we have a portable printing solution. So our kiosk is run on an iPad that is included when you purchase the kiosk hardware. Uh, the kiosk is assembled when you receive it, so all you have to do is unpack it, connect it to power, and then connect it to Wi-Fi. The screens of the app are customized for your church, including your colors, your church logo, the funds that are presented on the kiosk, etc. So the integrated printer allows for givers to print a receipt and or a donation slip. And the donation slips are very popular with our kiosk clients because it allows the giver to still participate in the offering plate tradition. So if someone goes in before church service starts, they want to give their offering with their card through the kiosk, they print that donation slip. And when the offering plate is passed around, they can simply put that donation slip into the offering plate. And there's no card or secure information on that slip. Security is key for Vanco, and our card reader that is um, attached and comes with the kiosk is fully end-to-end -end encrypted. So the card data is secure at all times. There's no card information that is stored in that reader or in the kiosk. The kiosk can be used in various ways. So many churches have the kiosk in their church lobby for giving in the moment. Like I said, if someone wanted to make a donation or um, pay for their, their general offering through the kiosk, they can do that. Uh, if a member forgets their cash, they can quickly make the donation at the kiosk before or after service. Um, but since many churches keep the kiosk in the church lobby, guests or members can easily make a payment for a church event as well, or like a wedding deposit, and use that receipt that they have as proof of payment. But since the kiosk is portable, some churches have special events in their Family Life Center, for example, that they can easily move that kiosk to take donations and payments for that particular event as well. I think I want to add, too, before you move on, Stephanie, yeah. we're very excited about this new version of the kiosk. Um, if any of you have heard or seen a previous version, this, is, this one's sleek and easy to use and easy to set up, and um, we've gotten some very good positive feedback from those that have, have seen it so far. So we're very excited about our newer newer version of our kiosk. Okay, so here are the screens, and this just shows how easy and quick it is for your members or your guests to give a donation via the kiosk. So on the first left screen, you choose the donation. So the church can configure which funds show on the kiosk. And then there's different preset dollar amounts that are shown. So the, the, the donor would find the fund they want to give to, tap the uh, amount that they want to give, or tap other amounts and key in the amount they want to give in the keyboard. Once they've done with that, once they're done with that, they click next. And there are optional fields. Uh, the, the church can make them required for address and email for an email receipt. Then the donor would swipe their card. And then once the card processes, they get taken to that final page that says, thank you for your donation. And that method is also customizable by the church. You can change that to whatever you would like. And at the bottom of that screen is the option to print the donation slip and print the receipt. Again, these screens are customized for your church. So in the top left corner of those screens, 
you would have your church logo and your church colors would show instead of the, the gray and the, the gold color that's showing here. Okay, so next I'd like to talk about our Gifts Plus Swipe product. So Gifts Plus Swipe is powered by our mobile access app. And this app is a church-facing app that is free to download. So the church would purchase a mobile card reader that plugs into a phone or an iPad. And that reader is compatible with iPhones, iPads, and some Android devices. So think about, most of you have probably used Square or heard of Square. This is Vanco's better version of Square. Um, it allows for churches to use the swipe product at events like baked goods sales, pumpkin patches, poinsettia sales, et cetera. And you can swipe your members or guest card and designate those payments or donations into the specific funds that you would like those, um, those transactions to flow into. So church employees or volunteers can have the app downloaded on their phone or device and assist in taking payments that will be routed back to the church. A great feature of the app is that you can purchase, you know, one or two readers, but then if you have, if you find your event is busier than expected and requires additional help, you can have a, another church um, member or volunteer actually download and use the app to complete the transactions without the card reader. So it won't be as fast as swiping the card, but you can key enter the information if you need to. So that's a great option that we have. Our card reader, again, like the kiosk, is end in encrypted, but nothing is stored on that reader or on the mobile app. Okay, so here are a few screens of the app. The reader is plugged in at the top left, you can see, of the iPad. And after the church member or, or the church worker or volunteer signs in, they would create a four-digit PIN so they can sign in easily and securely in the future. And then the second screen shows you the list of funds. And these funds are configured by the church. So as the church volunteer or worker, you would select the fund that someone wants to, to make a payment for, enter the amount, and then there's also a text box to the far right where you can enter additional information or comments about that transaction. So if there are examples, or so for example, if you have, if you're selling t-shirts, you can enter the size or color and the information that is typed into that text box will be available in Vanco reporting for you. So once you've entered the amount for the fund or funds, you would tap next and then you would be prompted to swipe the card. If you don't have the reader plugged in, or if the card's mag stripe won't swipe, you can also enter that card information manually. And then once that's complete, you will be prompted uh, with a signature screen where you can let the card holder sign with their finger and enter their email address for an email receipt. Okay, so finally I'd like to talk about our customization tool, Give Plus Settings. So this is another church tool. This is not something that is donor facing, but this is a church tool that is accessible through our MyVanco administrative tool. And this offers the church the ability to customize and make changes to their Give Plus kiosk and Give Plus Online embed. A church staff member can update the logo, the colors, and messaging directly from this, this tool 24-7. You can see from the two images, there's a preview available so that you can see what those updates look like actually before saving those. And then once you're happy with the changes that you've made, you click save and those products are updated automatically. So we've heard from churches that this is a great tool to have because they may have a special event like a book sale or a ladies luncheon on a weekend day where they want to customize the kiosk with different colors or a different logo just temporarily. So the tool is easy to use, it's quick, and you can um, 
and it doesn't typically require any assistance from our client services team. So you can make those changes on a Saturday morning, have the event, and then change it back Saturday afternoon after that event is complete in preparation for Sunday services. As always, though, if you do need assistance, our client services team is always available to help. So this concludes the information about the Vanco product suite. If you are interested and want to learn more, however, please visit this link, which is a Vanco Church Windows page. Mm -hmm. And then I'll turn it back over to Denise. We do have a couple of questions. Great. Uh, one that I wanted to address um, was for people making payments monthly for preschool tuition, how are those payments handled? I think I would address that question from the context of what would be the most, what would be the best method to accept those payments. So um, we have some flexibility here, actually. So I would suggest um, because if they if they want to set it up as a recurring payment, they can do that if it's the same amount each month. They can set that up either through Give Plus Online, through your website or with Gift Plus Mobile if you make those funds present on those particular products. Um, our kiosk and our Gift Plus Swipe products are one-time transactions only. So I would recommend using either our online product, uh, Gift Plus Mobile, or even text, honestly. It just depends on which products you want to enable those funds for. So hopefully that answers the question. Um, we, we'll be sure to follow up if additional information is um, is requested by by all means. Um, another question is what happens when you enter a transaction and the charge to the card is declined? So if it is a one-time credit card donation, the authorization is real time, and so if the card is declined, the message would would be that the card um, has been declined, so that the donor or um, would be notified of that um, declined transaction. However, if it is a recurring card or even an ACH transaction, those are processed um, in a batch at one time during the day. So they would not get an automatic response of a decline. The church would get notification that those particular recurring donations or ACH transactions were declined, and then you can reach back out to your members um, to request a different form of payment. Uh, we have a question to please describe end-to-end -end security. That is a great question. Yeah. So what happens when a card is swiped, we have uh, what's called encryption keys within that reader. So we have a special Banco encryption key that takes that card information, turns it into an encrypted token, if you will, and then passes that information over um, to the Vanco servers, which then unencrypts the information once it reaches our secure Vanco servers and processes that transaction through. Um, automatically, within seconds, you get a response back if it's a real-time card uh, transaction whether or not the account or the transaction was approved or declined, but at no point after that card is swiped is there full card information being passed. Um, it, and like I said, it is an encrypted token until it reaches our secure servers. Hope that answers the question. We are PCI compliant um, as well, so um, we have had audits and um, as part of those audits, they do review all of our hardware and um, policies around encryption. Good, thank you. Uh, let's see. Can you use a chip card in the kiosk or swipe application? So today we do not offer EMV chip readers. Um, we have um, definitely reviewed that option and feel like um, as of this time, uh, EMV is primarily um, in, the retail space. in the retail space. It protects from card presence 
uh, fraud from stolen cards. Um, with donations, there's really not that same threat that you would have with, say, a Best Buy where someone goes and tries to buy a television with a stolen card um, and then, you know, the, the store is left um, without that product and then without that card being a valid card. Um, the threat to a donation, there's really no gain for a fraudster to, to run a stolen card to make a donation. So we haven't seen that level uh, or threat for our particular um, client. Mm -hmm. And what we have noticed is because EMV is somewhat new in the United States, there has been a lot of changes so far with EMV and the, the reader requirements that um, you probably just noticed in your stores that some readers require you to enter a PIN, some require you to sign, some require different types of verification. So we are going to wait a little bit and let the um, the dust first settle. Yeah, the dust settle and the first wave of um, changes kind of settle because we don't want to impact our clients and make them buy new readers each time you know the EMV requirements are changed. So we're going to let the dust settle a little bit and then review. Um, and because our clients are just not at the same level risk, we feel confident and comfortable that our clients will be secure. That was a long answer, but it was, thank you. But I mean, <laughs> generally speaking, the risk is significantly lower in the faith-based space, which is what we've found. And the point in in uh, requiring folks to purchase new hardware when it may not be the end of the road for modifications to the EMB regulations didn't seem to whole make a lot to make a whole lot of sense. So um, we do have a couple of questions on fees, transaction fees. So I would. I, we would be happy to answer those questions. A lot of this information we might be better suited for us to follow up on. Um, someone did ask a question about how frequently or how timely is the church staff notified that a recurring transaction has been denied? I'm not sure I know the answer to that one, but we might. So there's, there's daily reporting that gets sent out for failed transactions. Um, we also, within our administrative tool, we have um, ad hoc reporting, if you will, so the church can then also go in and, and pull that report anytime during the day as well. So we send out processing reports um, every day, um, but then also if in the, in you know, during throughout the day, the church can log into the administrative portal and pull that information as well. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, let's see. How is Vanco different than using PayPal to receive donations on our church's website? So what I've noticed uh, or heard recently uh, from a coworker was that they've heard from a church that PayPal has, uh, within the last few months, made it um, pretty difficult for churches to manage their funds like churches want to. Um, and also recurring donations through PayPal have changed recently. So where we offer a full range of products um, with consistent reporting, re consistent reconciliation. Um, we feel like we can offer a better breadth of uh, solutions for churches, whereas PayPal offers just online giving um, with maybe limited solutions from, when I, from what I'm hearing. Um, I need to do some more research on that, but um, they've limited the amount of funds that can be processed and then also re with recurring. There's some restrictions there as well. So, mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. What hours are Vanco available to help? And it asks specifically on phone, text, online. Available all of those ways. All of the, So our client service is available 24-7. So if you have questions, our office, our typical office hours are 8 to 5 Eastern time, but we have on-call client service reps at all times. So on the weekends, at night, if you have a product um, question or an issue with one of your products, please feel free to re still reach out to us after hours and someone will answer the phone. We are, um, our client services team is located in Minnesota and um, we are happy to help at any point or any time of the day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. We have a different account for our preschool. Can you have two different bank accounts or can only one account be attached to Vanco at a time? You can have more than one. So 
we are pretty flexible at Vanco, so you can have everything under one account and then separate your funds into separate checking accounts, or you can have a main account for your church and then what we call it a sub-account or child account for your preschool, and uh, and then all of those uh, payments for that preschool would then flow into that checking account. So there's a couple of different ways you can set it up, but yes, you can definitely you can definitely achieve that through Vancouver. Great, thank you. Um, one question I'd like to address too is my church. It was not found on the Give Plus Church app, and we are Vanco clients, so we'd like to follow up on that to make sure depending upon um, how the church is listed? At, well, based on how the church is listed, and then also when we first rolled out the app um, back in September, we did roll it out for credit and debit only. Um, so there were some instances where some clients that may be set up with ACH only weren't auto-enabled at that time. So if you, um, if you feel like you should be enabled, if you're a Vanco client, please let us know your church name, and we will make sure that you get enabled, um, you know, after this call is over. It's a, it's a quick and easy enablement in our system. Yep, we have the church name, and we'll be sure to follow up. Yes. Yes. Uh, generally speaking, how much does it cost to purchase the kiosk software? So it's an actual package with the kiosk hardware and software, correct? Yeah, so... Yeah, so we have a hardware cost, and we don't upcharge that cost. And so there is just that one-time rate for the hardware. And then we do have a monthly service fee for the kiosk. Um, and uh, that just covers, you know, the service that we provide 24-7, the customization options, and then the updates to the iPad that keeps everything current. So there is a, um, a, a one-time hardware fee and a monthly service fee as well. Uh, are client services speaking English as a first language? Yes, they are. Uh, located, our sales service and operations are located in Minneapolis, mm -hmm. um, all English speaking as a first language. Uh, how are the funds actually transferred to our church? Are they placed into our checking account and how often? So yes, they are um, deposited directly into your checking account that you set up with your Vanco account. Um, if for ACH transactions, those are actually deposited next day. So that is a lot quicker than what you'll see with some competitors. So we do um, those deposits the next day, and then credit card deposits would be 24 to 48 hours based on the, the business day that the processing runs. Let's see. I think, let me see. Uh, we are United Methodist Church. A Joy app has been mentioned to me. Is that something different than the Give Plus Church app? Um, yes, it is. Um, and Banco does have a relationship with the United Methodist Church as well. So if we can follow up with you and provide you some additional information, we would be happy to do that. Yeah, and both of those apps are great. So um, they both um, offer giving through a mobile application. One is specifically for Methodist church churches. Um, but yes, we both apps are great. You can use either app that you would like. Um, but if you would like additional information, we can provide information about both of those um, and we can follow back up on that. Excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. So far, that concludes the questions that we've had come up. Um, but if we have not directly addressed the questions specific to transaction fees or anything like that, uh, we will be sure to follow up individually so we can talk through um, more specifics on that. And I, can I, if I can just interject as well really quickly here, um, I know probably you're getting ready to wrap things up and hand things back here to me, but I didn't recall if I had heard you mentioning anything about how we did upload or have the handout available. Yeah, I did not mention that. Um, there is a handout available which, which provides you the overview of the Give Plus suite, uh, the information that I believe Stephanie was uh, reviewing earlier on the presentation. Uh, that does include our 800 number for client service in addition to uh, an email address for follow-up. Uh, Josh and I will be sharing information with respect to any outstanding questions so we can be sure to follow up with you um, and provide you with additional information that way as well. You bet. I, w I wasn't sure if you would 
had, we're going to be getting to the handout. I didn't mean to kind of step on you there about that. I just, but I didn't want to forget. I wanted to give folks time to get that downloaded and printed before they, before we end things, wrap things up here. So that's why I wanted to mention it. So good. Yeah. And of course, a couple folks had asked as well, whether or not the presentation would be made available to them uh, beyond today. And it looks as though Josh, you and I both addressed uh, that question. Absolutely. And there was, and there was one more thing I wanted to mention, Denise and Josh. Um, on the Gift Plus mobile slide, there is um, a link, and I didn't mention it during um, that particular slide. There is a, a link to a YouTube video, and it is about Gift Plus mobile. So, um, you know, if you have a church board that you have to, you know, get approval before you roll out a new product, um, you can use that video to, to show them um, the benefits of offering a donor-facing mobile application to, a, to your congregation. So please feel free to, the, the video is available on the Vanco YouTube channel, so please feel free to, um, to review that um, at your leisure. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing any other questions coming in. Maybe those sometimes are lengthy and take folks a minute, you know, a few seconds to type in there a little bit of time. So I think we're okay mm -hmm. to wait there to give folks a few more seconds or a few more couple minutes to type some stuff in. Wonderful presentation. Thank you. I've learned so much. I'm sure our, all of our attendees have learned so much about this. Um, yes, we're going to be getting this uh, video uh, produced here, like I said, within the next few days into sometime next week. Uh, you know, let Vanco Payment Services uh, or Solutions, uh, you know, review this, and then we'll get it out on our website on both yeah. our partners, uh, vendors page, partners page on our churchwindows.com website, as well as the, uh, oh. as well as on our training, our, our support oh. center page as well. Um, but I learned so many nice new things about it. Fantastic today. Thank you. Um, Great. Thank you so and, much for the opportunity. Of course, and uh, we're very pleased. We hope it's been helpful for everybody. Um, and any, again, if you ladies are done with that on that and you want to hand uh, the presenter responsibilities back to me at any point, please feel free to do so. Um, uh, says Somebody's saying on there that says can't go to the website link. Um, I'll, I, I'll be sure to double check that. We checked it prior to coming into the room, but... It's entirely possible something okay. occurred. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Technology, it's per, it's great when it works. So, <laughs> um, okay. Well, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, we, I, we, I mean, we're so appreciative. The comments on this have been very favorable. Um, I'm gonna, you know, again, Denise, be in communication with you with regards to any follow-up information or questions that I get from folks with regard, you know, through the, um, through the GoToWebinar information. Uh, and again, we're getting lots of thanks here from folks through that. I mean, through the questions portion of this here. Um, I'm not seeing anything else coming in. Uh, and again, we really appreciate folks sticking around for the hour-long presentation. We're pushing an hour now. Uh, again, and keep an eye out on the Church Windows website for uh, the video of this particular event. So um, it's been great. So I'm re we really, really want to thank pa Vanco Payment Solutions for doing this with us today. Thank you very much, Josh. And you mentioned um, tomorrow as well as a follow-up. Absolutely. You know, please, folks, Great. if you're wanting to get learn more about how the, you know, how the f information that, you know, that, that comes from Vanco can be imported into Church Windows donations, uh, please, you know, register for and attend that webinar event uh, tomorrow. And, uh, and we'll be happy to teach you more about that. So, Great. Thank you. Thank all you again, right. Josh. You're welcome. And yes. all right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and end the webinar for everybody. And we'll look forward to hearing from any of you from either Vanco or Payment Solutions or into Church Windows if you have any questions about any of it. So, all right. Thank you all so very much. We'll look forward to speaking with you. Take care. Thank you so much. You're Josh. welcome. Bye-bye. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.